fell out of that little knife container thingy. No. No. Hey humans, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I do videos on creepy and disturbing things. Today we are going over 10 more really creepy, disturbing TikToks that y'all tagged me in, and some of these are some real doozies, so I'm very excited to talk about them with y'all. Before we get into it, this video does have a sponsor, so we're gonna roll to that and I'll be right back. This video is sponsored by Fetch. I absolutely love Fetch. They've been supporting my channel now for a few months and I just I love promoting them because they are not only completely free to use but the whole thing just kind of sounds too good to be true and it's actually not. Fetch is a super easy to use app where you earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt and you will earn points for every purchase. Even if you have receipts that are up to two weeks old you can scan them and start earning points now. After you scan you can redeem those points for hundreds of rewards in the form of gift cards, including Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, Ulta, Barnes & Noble, Nordstrom Rack. There's so many to choose from. I'm going to demonstrate right now just how fast it is to use. Let's first scan a physical receipt on the screen right now. I'm not going to cut this part of the video at all so I can show you just how fast this works. And there you go, the receipt is all done. You can also scan any e-receipt too. So you just press the e-receipt button here and it just gave me points for my most recent Amazon orders in a matter of seconds. My personal favorite part about Fetch is definitely the discover feature. You can browse items that are redeemable for extra points. For example, right now, if you need makeup, say, anyway, and you're going to Target, spend $15 on the brand NYX, and you'll get an additional 3,000 points for that receipt. I just love browsing through this section to see if there's anything that I was planning to buy anyway next time I go out so that I can get the bonus points. For a limited time, download the app now and use my code, Hannah the Horrible to get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Link will be at the top of the description right below this video. Okay, same disclaimers as always for these videos. I will just type them up on the screen so that I don't need to waste five minutes in the intro pause if you want to read them. This first video that we're going to watch together is from Lil' Kim the Squirrel, and this one's a tad longer. I'll probably skip over some of it for the video because it's pretty much just the same thing for like four minutes, but it is a very interesting video, so let's watch. Hello? Are you trying to communicate? I'm definitely just supposed to move out the corner of my glasses. I don't want to stop filming it. I don't want to get up either. I mean... So you're pointing at something. I am <laughs> seriously. It. I'm lost for words right now.
So the reason this one says at the bottom, sorry little Kim for hijacking her TikTok, I had to post ASAP, that's because the rest of this TikTok account is this person's pet squirrel. Like there's no other paranormal videos, which I find really interesting. So that's not super relevant, but just to explain that part. And like I said, this person's actually a pretty small creator. They're just posting videos of their pet squirrel. It doesn't seem like they're trying to post a bunch of convincing paranormal videos or anything. So that's one check to her in my book as being more convincing. There's not really much uh, context for this video, except for the fact that, you know, as you can see right on the video, it says that she's always sensed something was in this house and she thinks maybe this is it. Maybe this is the entity she's always been feeling. So a lot of the suspicious comments are asking why she didn't zoom in on the thing more with her camera, why she didn't approach it and stuff like that. They are also asking why the heck she is so dang calm. Well, the zoom in part I can explain because at the very beginning of this video we saw it she did zoom in your iPhone if she's like on a regular iPhone you can only zoom in like that you know the one times or whatever so she did zoom in so that was as close as she got with the camera as for being so calm I wouldn't attribute that to being calm I would attribute that way more to just being in shock and scared and not really knowing what to do or if you should approach it she does sound genuinely scared in the video and like she may be on the verge of tears that is like where it could be. However, I still don't think this one is likely a ghost. A lot of people pointed this out in the comments and I agree that this is another form of the pareidolia effect. She is simply seeing a human-like shape amongst all the clutter in this room and it's pretty dark and from far away maybe it just looks like a figure even though it's just the way the items in the room are set up. Now, as I just said, I understand why she didn't zoom in more with the camera. However, if it were me, I'd like to think that I would definitely approach this thing because I would think my eyes were deceiving me and I'd want to get closer to it to like figure out which, uh, which stuff in the room it is that's like making this figure look like this. It does seem a little bit suspicious to me that she is not moving any closer to it, especially when she stares at it for several minutes and it never moves or does anything that would be threatening to her at all. Like, I don't really get why she wouldn't just walk a little bit closer to it to see what the heck it was. Some of the believers in the comments say that the reason that the figure is not moving is because it's not a spirit at all. They're suggesting that it's just energy on a loop from another dimension, which I'd never heard of that, but I'm sure it's a thing. They argue that maybe the energy or the spirit or whatever it is isn't moving because it's scared of her and is also frozen because it doesn't know what to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I definitely am leaning towards this being not a real spirit but the pareidolia effect and it's just stuff in the room that looks like this and maybe she did start filming it and she was genuinely scared and maybe doesn't realize that it's not real or maybe she realized after filming because I, as of now, I have haven't seen her post any more videos about it so it's an interesting one. I am like almost wondering if she at least thinks it's genuine since she's not posting updates or anything about it. This next video is from a user named A. Ebriham. I'm probably saying that wrong, Ka. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna watch this one together without explanation because this one is also very interesting and not paranormal. There is a website called the Human Meat Project that is legally online. And this website, well, as per their statements, are legally selling human meat. This is their motto. One body can feed up to 40 people. They give you the choice to donate yourself to feed 40 people. What can you donate? Well, pretty much your whole body including organs and if you don't want to donate yourself you can pick certain body parts and or certain organs for example one kidney or half a lung you can choose as many or as few organs as you wish there is an end date for donors donors can choose a date they want to be harvested this is messed up who can donate any healthy living human can donate their body for consumption regardless of age. Also, apparently, 
Every human donor will be medically evaluated to avoid the spread of contagious diseases. So, so you guys can chop me up in pieces and, and feed me to the poor, but you don't want any of them to get sick. <laughs> Check out what they got in store at the moment. We got a 37-year-old male, white from Netherlands. He's donating his ribs. Upper arm from a 44-year-old male, brain from female, Ecuador, and shoulder from a 20-year-old female from Indonesia. This is by far the scariest website I have ever come across. This is where the plot twist is. This is what it says in terms and condition, how it works. This is purely a conceptual art project and will not be acted out in real life. Now this website has been debunked, but a lot of people still don't buy the story. The terms and conditions could very well be a disguise or a cover up to keep this website legally on the surf web. I'm not buying it. You guys tell me, what do you think? I'm sorry, but why is he being so dramatic when it says right in his own video how this website has been debunked, but a bunch of people are like, but no, it's not. That's just a, like, why are you making this? He's talking slow and the music and the sunglasses like being, so extra about how dramatic this is. I'm sorry, dude, I don't mean to laugh at you, but it's it's really funny that you're being so, the dramatic reading of the website when right in your own video, you're like, oh, this has been debunked, but maybe it's not. <laughs> okay, anyway, so the conspiracy theory is that this, I mean, this is a real website. You can definitely go to the website yourself and look around, but the conspiracy theory is that they're just saying it's an art project so that they don't get in trouble and so that they can keep this website to the general public and it doesn't have to be hidden in the dark web and stuff like that. My personal opinion is that it's an art project. There's not a conspiracy here. Come on, people. Now, again, if you read a little bit closer on their website or any articles about this website, it says that the reason that the whole point of this art project is commentary on terms and conditions. It's making sure that people read terms and conditions before they agree to anything because a lot of us just sign off on anything without actually reading the fine print. And it's a commentary on that, which makes perfect sense because if you were gonna go read the terms and conditions to what you were agreeing to, to donating your body as food, you would find very easily that it's not real and be like, Oh, if this were real in any way, the FBI would have been all over this by now. There would have been proof somewhere. It would be very easy to uncover. The fact that people are saying that this is a cover up as an art project, but they're really doing this is just so absurd to me. Honestly, it's just an art project. It's a pretty cool art project in my opinion. It was pretty, it's a pretty creepy website, but like, come on, I'm sorry. I'm being mean. Okay. This next one, um, I am going to talk about Josiah Worley's, I mean, his account in general, but this video, this video, so many, like I will show a little screen grab of how many people tagged me in this video. You can see that on the side, the picture of the video, the screenshot of the video, it's just like dozens and dozens and dozens of people tagged me in this. I wasn't even gonna talk about this one. Honestly, it did not interest me that much, but so many people tagged me in it that I absolutely, you know, I gotta, you guys are what matters. So I gotta talk about it. Let's watch the video together first and then. We'll talk. Okay, so I will say I'm stupid for drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little fucking knife container thingy. No. 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 Is this all because, dude, this is getting dangerous, bro. You're gonna cut yourself. You need to be careful. Fucking no. Actually, I'm. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Right in front of my fucking face. Fucking shit. No. It's a regular old fucking knife container thingy. 
popcorn. No, it's not. I just want. I'm not even hungry anymore. So this is fake as well. I know a lot of people are like, it's impossible. He could not have faked this. Yes, he could have. Let me explain. So I'm going to take a detour here. And I know this is going to be very confusing for just a moment, but please stick with me. Remember Haunted Charlotte? We talked about that in the last TikTok video. Haunted Charlotte was this account. It got like over 200,000 followers. And it was all about this supposedly haunted doll that this guy got at the antique shop and that he was documenting all the stuff that this doll was doing. This is a super haunted doll. Well, we debunked that in the last video as it was a doll from Etsy and we found the store that it was from, yada, yada, yada. Y'all remember that. We talked about it. Well, turns out the creator of that account finally came forward and it's actually a friend of ours. I don't know him, like I'm not a friends with him, but we've talked about him on the channel before and it's actually Dustin Dean Mentalist who created that entire account in order to prove to us how easy it is to convince a whole ton of people on the internet about a haunting and it definitely worked. Let's watch his video about Haunted Charlotte really quick together because you'll have to see this. I promise we will get back to this fake haunted page that I created as an experiment to show how easily you can fool someone into believing that something paranormal is happening and how easily that content can go viral. Now my secret page has gained over 200,000 followers and over 30 million overall views. And that was within a few weeks. Allow me to introduce Charlotte, also known on TikTok as haunted underscore Charlotte. I convinced people that this was a real haunted doll. I even had psychics comment or make videos about how they could see the spirit attached to the doll. My hubby can see and hear and talk to spirits, and right away he saw what it was. It's a demon. No bigger than I want to say about this tall. When in reality, all I did was use basic magician's trickery to make it seem like haunted things were happening around the doll. So I love Dustin D. Mentalist's page in general. I love watching his videos. He debunks a ton of paranormal videos or just the way he does things because he is a legit magician. So that answers that question about Haunted Charlotte. This is relevant because he has also debunked a lot of Josiah Worley's uh, videos, including this knife video. So all credit goes to him because he recreated the way he did this knife video. And surprise, it was just fishing line. Let's watch that video together really quick because again, I can't explain it better than him. Yeah, I'm stupid for drinking. Uh, that knife fell out of that little fucking knife container thingy. That video has like 60 million views. This guy makes a lot of content like this. Uh, is supposedly an alcoholic. He's really drunk and he points his camera somewhere and something haunted happens. I've been sitting here for a minute, okay? Now I've debunked a video of his before where I showed there was string visible in his video. This latest video, people are saying it cannot be faked. There is no way to fake it. It is proof of paranormal activity. Let me show you something. Oh man, I'm so drunk. I hope I don't get haunted. Oh man. Oh geez, it's a good thing I uh it's a good thing I put some styrofoam on the on the floor. I did had no idea this was gonna happen. This is crazy. Oh my god. Look at this knife. It's beautiful. Definitely haunted. Yeah, no, here's how I actually did it. I used some invisible string I bought at Walmart, attach it to the knife and someone pulls it off camera, making it seem like it was haunted. Then the string is removed when the camera isn't looking. It's really easy to go viral on TikTok with fake haunted content. In fact, I've done it myself with a secret page that I haven't revealed yet that has over 200,000 followers. Oh my God. So somebody recreated it. It was very easy. And I had a guess that this, I mean, why would a ghost do that? That just makes no sense. Like ghosts are the most nonsensical thing if all of these paranormal TikToks are real. Now, again, I've said this, I don't really care if people fake stuff for views or not. I get it. They're getting money. They're getting clout. They're having fun, whatever good on them. However, if they're going to put that stuff out, then we also have every right to look at it critically and call it out when it's fake.
It's important for people to use their critical thinking skills on the internet rather than just believing things blindly. It's all just for entertainment purposes only. Okay, we're not going to spend quite as much time on the rest of the TikToks. Those first few were the most, were the longest of this video, but okay. A lot of people tagged me in this one as well. I apologize. I'm not like posting who tagged me in what video simply because I'm getting tagged in a lot more now. And it's virtually impossible to keep track of who tagged me in what video because multiple people often tag me in the same video. It's just too much. I'm really sorry. I know a lot of people like being like, tagged in the video, so I really do apologize for that. Anyway, a lot of people tagged me in this one too. This is Darby J. Jones. Again, this is like not necessarily paranormal, but just very upsetting. Literally, a station on the TV. Go to it. And it's a toilet. It's a fucking camera pointed at a toilet and there's no sound it hasn't moved in what 30 minutes the devil wears prada there's no way that that plays no. on bravo that's just this blue toilet is it it's not our toilet So this couple, they're in a hotel room and they find this random TV broadcast of somebody's toilet on TV. It's a really creepy toilet as it's dark and there's like a black light, like you can see some sort of substance on the floor. We're gonna not think too hard about that particular part. Anyway, it looks like a live stream. It looks like somebody is spying on somebody else's bathroom. The couple almost thinks that it's their toilet. Now, I don't know why they didn't just keep the channel on their TV and walk into the bathroom and see if they showed up on the TV to test if it was their toilet. I can't answer that for you because that would probably be the easiest way to figure out if it was yours, but um, yeah. Maybe the reason they don't do that and they go into the vent is because they just wanted to see what the vent was like and if a hidden camera could be put there or not. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt on that one because I do actually think this one's pretty believable because there's probably more hidden cameras in the world than we would care to think about. I especially don't like to think about it because this is my worst nightmare. I hate the thought of being filmed without my knowledge. So she does give a couple updates, but there's not much to report. She says that they did report it to the hotel staff and to the police and the police have been looking for a camera in the hotel building, but they cannot find one, which is just, so much worse. Again, like I said, I think I err on the side of believing this one because it's just very plausible. Like I can totally see this happening. I don't know why it ended up on their hotel TV. That's super creepy. But the fact that it just like went away and went back to regularly scheduled programming at 4.30 in the morning is super sketchy. And the fact that there just weren't that many updates, like she wasn't trying to dramatize the story. She said, sorry to disappoint y'all, but there's not really an update they never found anything. I don't know. This one just seems like it's very possible to me. I was reading through the comments and a lot of people in the comments were saying that you can buy this little device on Amazon that lets you detect if there's a hidden camera in the room that you're staying at. So you can take it traveling with you. So if you're at a hotel, you can like test for it. And oh my God, I need one of those. If I find a good one, I will link it below in the description for y'all because I am, I need one of those for my paranoid brain. Travis1738 made this next video and this is about a dog that just sort of disappears. Hey, little guy. Hey. You're such a good boy. Hi, dog. Dude. Hey, dude. There you go, boy. It's dangerous out here, man. You're on a blind corner. <sighs> Probably belongs over there. Where you go, little dude? What the hell? He's gone. 
Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I don't know about this one at all. I don't see if you, I've watched the video quite a few times. I don't see any cuts and I can't tell, but it doesn't look edited to me. That doesn't mean it's not, but I did not at least see any cuts where he would have obviously like filmed after the dog had long gone and then just filmed it empty and spliced them together as if the dog disappeared. I don't think that's what happened. The only thing I can nitpick about is that it is a little suspicious that he points the camera conveniently in both directions without following the dog and wherever it goes. But I mean, that could be explained pretty easily. So then even creepier, his pinned comment says that there was a wreck off the highway and if it weren't for the dog, he was going to go in that same direction. And he believes that it could have been him in that accident if he hadn't gotten sidetracked by the dog. So a lot of people in the comments believe that this dog is his guardian angel. Now, again, my instinct on this one is that it's not necessarily set up. I don't think he was faking this video. Again, I base that a lot on the rest of his account having nothing to do with weird or paranormal things happening, just regular videos that he posts. However, I doubt it was a guardian angel. I think there's some logical explanation that nobody has found. He said he looked for the dog for about 20 minutes after this video and he even checked with people in the area. But I mean, I don't, the dog's wearing a collar. The dog looked like it knew what it was doing. Like I just can't, I just don't believe that this dog was just literally disappeared into thin air or that it was some random guardian angel. I think it was a coincidence and the dog dog went to an area that this guy didn't know about or just was just out of view and he didn't see it and the dog laid down behind a bush somewhere and was just like put its head I mean there's like several plausible explanations for this or I mean it could be set up of course but if it's not then it could just be that the dog really did just run off somewhere really quick and he didn't catch it. Either way, it's a very cute dog. This is a very interesting one. Letty Loves You posted a reaction video to someone else's paranormal video. So this is not her video, but she talks about it. So let's watch that one. Video. I don't know where I've been, but apparently this is one of many videos in this home. This boy's playing video games and out of nowhere, the doors open, but it gets worse than that. <laughs> What the fuck? Ah! The way he screams, he sounds so scared too. Ah! I rewatched this video so many times, and you can literally see that door handle like being pulled open, which causes this door to like open as well. So I found another clip with the same family, but this time the mom's in the living room and just watch this door. <laughs> like something's pulling on the door. No. And something's pulling her. This is so crazy. And there's more videos, apparently. Also, like, if these are fake, this little boy is very convincing because he dead ass sounds really scared in these videos. So I will admit this is a pretty convincing video at first glance, especially with this kid being so genuinely scared. Another really great debunking TikToker that I have found through watching so many of these videos is um, at the Spooky Stuff, AKA Alex Matsuo. And I've talked to her briefly on Instagram. She seems very cool. Um, I like her because she is actually, seems to be, from my understanding, she's a believer in the paranormal in general, but she is skeptical, especially when looking at internet stuff and does look to debunk stuff as much as possible. But she did a reaction video to this woman's reaction video to this paranormal video. And I had to agree with all of her opinions, but I thought that she made some really great points. First of all, in the first part, the camera placement is very convenient and very weird. The brown door is the camera placement makes it so that the brown door is conveniently cut off at the bottom so that you can't see it, but there's probably somebody at the bottom of the door moving it. I had the same thought when I I watched it, but Alex definitely confirmed it. There's probably something tied 
to that chair that the little boy is sitting on and somebody is out of frame pulling him and simply pulls the chair and scares the little boy. The white door moving in this video could very easily just be somebody on the other side of the door. That would actually be the easiest one to set up. And then in the second half of this video where there's a different video of this same family, again, the camera angle just conveniently shifts in the room. Like it's just kind of weird, like maybe explain why the cameras are set up there specifically. And then the other thing is this little boy being so convincing and that if this is fake, then the little boy is a very, very good actor. And I would agree with that. Alex points out that kids can be very good actors, especially in videos like this. However, I kind of wonder to me, because it seems genuine, I kind of wonder if this stuff, like maybe the boy's in on the fact that the thing overall is fake, but they scare him randomly. Like they don't tell him that somebody's gonna pull his chair or they don't tell him when this stuff is gonna happen or when stuff is gonna move so that his reactions are genuine in the moment. I hope that's not the case, just because that seems like really cruel to do to a kid, but it's possible. I mean, I have no proof of that, but unfortunately I do know that people will go to great lengths to go viral. Oh, this next video, I'm so excited to talk about this one because I got some solid debunk for this one. Very excited. Um, this is also not this person's video. It's just a repost. This video has been shared across social media many a times. Let's watch this one. Also not paranormal necessarily. In this video, again, this video has been shared many times across different platforms, and it's a pretty interesting video if you watch it first. It appears that it's this mosquito that has been tagged with some sort of barcode or serial number. It looks like this bug has the number 38 stamped on its back. The conspiracy theorists on this one are out to play. The most popular theory around this one in particular is that this is one of Bill Gates' mosquitoes. Bill Gates has talked about making genetic modified mosquitoes in the past and people freak out believing that he's gonna have these fake mosquitoes go around and vaccinate people against their will like yeah huge eye roll on that Bill Gates's mosquitoes are actually bred to prevent diseases by sending genetically modified mosquitoes carrying a specific bacteria to countries to breed with mosquitoes that carry harmful diseases like you know the Zika virus or yellow fever and it prevents a lot of the spread so a lot of people are arguing that it's one of those mosquitoes which is just I'm sorry okay so that's like not super relevant of it, but I just want to explain the background of why people think that this might be one of Bill Gates's mosquitoes because he has these like little robot mosquitoes going around when they're not robot mosquitoes. They're literally mosquitoes that they bred, but they carry a specific bacteria that slows the spread of very dangerous diseases. People will be just so excited about conspiracies. It blows my mind. Okay, this one, you know I had to figure it out. There's such a simple explanation for this one. It's actually bananas. If you look at the photo of the bug carefully, you'll see that this is not a mosquito. It doesn't even look like a mosquito when you think about it. And it's not, it's literally an aphid. Specifically, it's a silver birch aphid. That little marking on it is real and it does look like a little number 38, but it's actually just its natural marking that some adults of this species of aphids have on their back. If you look up the picture of this specific aphid, there are photos. It's not really debatable. That's exactly what this is. It's a marking on its back that occurs naturally in nature for some of these adult mosquitoes. It probably it only looks like a 38 because again, pareidolia and our tendency to find patterns in things. That one is so interesting to me because at first glance, again, I kind of freaked out too. And I thought that it was maybe just an edited video that somebody had just edited the little number on the bug. But if you just watch a few times and think about it, it is not even a mosquito. And people just think that it's a mosquito because somebody writes that as the caption of the video and people just go with it. <sighs> Crazy world out there, man. Okay, a few people tagged me in this account as well. This is Lainey and Ben's account.
That is one aggressive ghost. Okay, again, I am including this one because quite a few people tagged me in their account. And can we just like stop doing the paranormal? Like these videos are getting boring of just the videos. It's always a kitchen and it's always all the cupboards opening and shutting. Probably why they always conveniently put the cameras in the kitchen because that's where all the doors in the house are to open and close. Anyway, I could not find this comment. I scrolled and scrolled and I looked for this comment, but I could not find it. But someone left a really interesting comment on this video suggesting that they're simply using a green screen suit. The couple actually replied to this and were like, oh, it's cute that you think we have time for that. And it's like, yeah because you totally do. You're getting hella views and probably money off of this account. So yeah, you probably would have time for that. And ghosts are just not that blatant. Quick Amazon search and I will put the right here, but sure enough, you can buy a green screen suit for like 20 or $30. They're so cheap and so easy to get. This would be so easy to do. That combined with the fact that several people in the comments are talking about how there's suspicious shadows in this video and like, weird things going on with the sink before it turns on. Like this is absolutely what that is. It's just somebody putting on a green screen suit, doing this in the kitchen, and then you simply put a green screen filter over it in your video editor and the person in the green suit disappears. Like it would not even be difficult to edit. I could make this myself <laughs> like, oh my God, it's, Ah, uh, I honestly feel dumb for not thinking of this myself a long time ago. And all of those, I'm thinking back to all of these houses where stuff has been moving and how I've always assumed that it was all string or just, you know, very fancy editing, but this would be even easier. Yeah, then you could do whatever you wanted in the house and make it look paranormal. Just assume none of these supposed hauntings are real if the activity is this ridiculous and blatant. Like, I'm sorry, but even if ghosts are real, they're not doing this. Why? What would the point be? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's move on. Number nine is, again, I don't think that this is their video. I think they just post scary videos. It's HFJ Horror Mysterious video. So let's watch that one. This is kind of weird when you first look at it, but if you watch it a few more times, you will realize that that is literally a dog. That is somebody's dog with pantyhose over its head or something of that nature. If you look carefully, I'll show you a zoomed in picture right here. You can even see its little like teeth getting stuck on the pantyhose. Like the pantyhose are like pulling its lip up a little bit so you can even see its teeth. You can see its ears. You can see its muzzle. This is literally a dog. It's not an alien. Someone put pantyhose on their poor dog's face for a viral video. <laughs> done. I'm done. People are so bananas. Okay. The last one for today is somebody, um, this is Josh Fletch's video. He's in a prison and he's going to see a figure. There's kind of a jump scare on this one, but it's not too bad. It's nothing like, it's nothing very, very scary. It's just a shadowy thing. So, okay, let's watch. I uh, may or may not have climbed up because there's no stairs. For this video, simply stop the video at the figure and take a photo of it like I did. You'll see that it's pretty suspiciously looks like just a person standing back in the shadows. It's far enough away so that you can't see any of the features, but you definitely see an arm. It looks like the exact same stature and size of a regular man. And conveniently, the video is set up so you only see it for a very split second before he runs away, so it seems more like a jump scare and seems creepier. This is a real penitentiary. It's He's at the old Idaho penitentiary, and some do actually say that it's haunted. So I'm not saying that it's not haunted. It perfectly well could be. I'm saying this is not proof of it. According to old Idaho's penitentiary's website, you can rent the site for filming and photography 
photography if you give them two weeks notice. So I would imagine that's what they did for this video. It's actually open for tours and stuff from 12 to five, like to the public. It's pretty cheap to go. So they totally could have just gone on a day where there weren't that many other people there. It's super cheap to book the tour. So I bet they either rented this place out or their website even says that you can book a self-guided tour. That would be just by yourself to go explore the penitentiary. So I bet that's what he did with his friends. They had somebody climb up there before he started the camera and hide in the shadows to take this video. I am so sorry. Like, I feel like this video is a lot of really interesting videos. I really enjoyed the variety of videos that we talked about today. However, I think I debunked every single one of them, or at least I don't believe any of them. The only one maybe is that dog one, I think might be at least real to the person that filmed it. And also that figure, the first video that we saw. Like, again, I don't think it's actually a ghost though. I think it was something the way the room was set up. So, I feel sorry. I know that's like not as sexy as other paranormal videos, but you know, I'm here for the truth. I want to find real ghost evidence. I want the real stuff. And it's very rare that I find anything convincing on any social media, but especially TikTok. So that's going to be it for today. That was 10 more very creepy viral TikToks. Please like the video just to help the channel out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if any of these videos you can debunk further or point out other stuff for me, or do you believe some of these videos? So yeah. All right, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much to all our patrons. Shout out to top tiers, Colin Holmes, The Deck of Cards, Michelle Valdovinos, Tom L, JJ, Quasi Eli, Little Kittle Cat, Mitchell Schaefer Meyer, Mike, Alice Paul, Dark Sided Otter, Brittany Phillips, Willow Winchester, Bambi, Momo Neon, Philip J, Marita144, Sage K, Literally Lacey, Elderly Hipster, Christina Amos, Veronica C, Reese Rolls, Leon James, The Puppy Hag, Rebecca Jackson, Headless Fancy, Toby, Carter, Kawakan Anime and Gaming Convention, and Sonder.